Half of Canadians with a variable rate mortgage say that they may have to move out of their homes in just a matter of months. And if skyrocketing mortgage payments weren't enough, the Prime Minister is set to triple, triple, triple the carbon tax on those struggling Canadians. Conservatives will keep the heat on to take that tax off. So will the Prime Minister finally take responsibility for this affordability crisis that he's created so that or get out of the way so that we can fix the problem? The Honourable Minister for, Hous for Housing. Mr. Speaker, it is very rich uh, hearing the other side talking about affordability with respect to housing because every housing measure that we brought before this House to help Canadians uh, attain their dream of home ownership, they vote against it. Whether it is the $200 million uh, rent to own program, whether it is the first time home buyer tax free savings account of up to $40,000, whether it is doubling the tax credit for first time home buyers, and, or whether it is the ban on foreigners owning Canadian residential real estate, they vote against all those measures. Yet they try to stand here and say that they support Canadians when it's clear that they don't. Member for Chilliwack Hope. Mr. Speaker, that minister needs to get out of this Ottawa bubble. He keeps talking about government programs, but he's not listening to Canadians. Canadians who have seen their rents double after eight years of this Prime Minister. Canadians who are now forcing, uh, facing the prospect of having to move if they have a variable rate mortgage after eight years of this Prime Minister. Canadians who can no longer, to put, no longer afford to put food on the table with 40-year highs in, uh, in food prices. One and a half million Canadians lined up at the food bank. Why don't they take responsibility and cut the carbon tax and give Canadians a break? Yes. The Honourable Minister for Housing. The member opposite talked about supports for renters. He talked about renters struggling in Canada. That is precisely why we introduced the Canada Housing Benefit, which looks to invest an average of $2,500 to vulnerable renters across the country. In addition to that, we introduced a one-time top-up of $500 to vulnerable uh, renters, 1.8 million renters across the country. Not only did they vote against that, they pro played procedural games last fall to, to delay passage of that bill, which would have sent much-needed supports to renters. 